up guys um today I just wanted to come back to you guys with another video okay so I get this question a ton of a ton of a ton of a lot and it's basically how do I edit my videos so first let me go the way I don't have a MacBook or an iPad but I do have an iPhone. So my iPhone allows me to do all my editing. I do all of my editing on this here phone. It's an iPhone 7 Plus. Um, when I first started YouTube, I had an iPhone 5. An iPhone 5C, it was green. And I used to edit off of there using the same software, I believe. But I became, like, I've become better at what I do. And it's not the best, like I don't have fancy slides or anything like that. But a lot of people do wonder how I edit my videos. So I'm just going to tell you guys right now how I edit my videos. So, okay. So one way I edit my, well, the only way that I tend to edit my videos is on my phone, as I said. And I have an app. The app is called iMovie. But, so I use iMovie literally the only app i have on my phone to edit my videos i have never put a video together on youtube so if you have please let me know in the comments or um however you want to let me know just let me know how you did it because i've never done it before the only thing i've done on youtube was post it and um probably add some annotations or something probably stop some shakiness but other than that I do absolutely all my editing on my phone okay so I have iMovie on my phone along with my uh, Canon CW app which allows me to transport the pictures from my camera or the videos from my camera to my phone so I will just go through that process save the images or videos to my phone and then I will proceed over to iMovie so currently this is how my iMovie looks I only have two projects I was working on that video is posted go check it out the link will be in the bio but that's what I was working on right here but with iMovie I like how they allow you to have projects and they also allow you to have like uh, either a movie or a trailer so um, before I had my new outro I had another one but both of my but, sorry my intro both of my intros I made on iMovie by using by using the trailer so we click on trailer and then all this stuff pops up and it gives you different um, ideas different options of like fonts backgrounds themes they don't have too many but you can kind of make it work work with the uh, colors like changing the uh, the colors of it and I'll, I'll just show you guys um, so I could choose indie as like my trailer movie with this they do want you to put like a ton of names but what I normally do is I just fill in the name the movie name as I used to go by L L A glam E L L A G L A M I used to go by that but now since I go by beauty by L or hair makeup by L I'll just put Beauty by L in the movie name and then you see it pops up right here so after you click done and you just go down like you just you have all this to fill out so it's pretty simple ish but I'm just going to fill out like the cast the studio I'm just gonna fill this stuff out with my name a million times just to show you guys how the options for um the options you'll have as far as choosing how you want your intro to go
and see in the middle of this trailer we have this and they just took my starter movie name which is beauty by l and then they put it right here on onto the background with the tree and the swing so if you did like that also you can change if you want it to be trees like a dandelion i believe balloons i think you can do i used to have this this one was my la glam um intro let's just do i'm gonna do something fun so i chose that uh galaxy So, directed by me, blah, 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 Okay, so that's about it. So. Okay, so I just put this together. So I'm going to show you guys the unedited version before I put my twist to it. I feel like with this one, I'll be able to show you guys two versions of an intro that I'll be able to make and I'll be able to explain to you guys how you can change it and make it your own. Okay, so let me just get this out the way too. This video is very informational for people who does not have availability to a lot of fancy things, a million different editing softwares, or a million different cameras, or a million different um, devices to even edit their videos. So if you have an iPhone, and as I told you guys, I started with the iPhone C, even if you have an iPhone 5, all the way up to the iPhone 7 now, you'll be able to successfully um, edit your videos and make them your own so you don't have to worry about it looking like looking like really crappy because you can put your own twist to it because you can put your own twist to it and make the video your own so anyways without more rambling I'm just going to show you guys the video so that is how the video intro trailer whatever you want to call it that's how it would go before you edit it um i chose indie as like the starting on the starting screen it has a bunch of them the ones i chose had indie on the front and i just put my name in it as i said and then you guys have seen how it is unedited so now before i show you the finished edit version i'm going to explain to you what exactly i do so what I would do is save what I just showed you guys to my phone just by clicking on the video and then pressing this button and then you'll just you guys see it and then you'll just click save uh, image or save video save video will be right there so after you save um, your trailer you just go back to your home screen and you want to click on this one so you can start a new movie and I like to click movie and set a trailer so you're kind of in the flow now a lot of the times when you do that it will automatically be on moments all you have to do is on the right hand side right here or if you're looking at your phone, it'll be on the left. Um, you just click media and it'll take you back to moments, videos, photos, albums. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to go to videos. Recently added. And then 59 seconds, which will be the video I just had. And you want to click the check mark. And then you'll get going from there so i'm gonna show you guys uh two ways from this uh indie version or theme that you can go about getting an intro okay so first thing i did have my phone have the video 
And all I did was I went right here. And I just tap on the video. And I go to split. And it splits the video into two different parts. I don't need this right now. So I just click delete. Mind you, when you click delete, it does not completely delete the video because we saved it to our phones. So, we can continue to edit our first intro or whatever trailer. So now this is what we have. And if we press play, this is what it will be. Pretty cool, right? Um, really simple. You could keep that as it is. I think it's pretty cool, especially for a gamer or someone who's like a news anchor type person, you know, someone that delivers the tea. It could be used for absolutely anyone because they're all creative. So that's a pretty creative intro. Um, what I like to do, I like to click on the video and I go to this volume button. And I turn the volume all the way down. After I turn the volume all, right, all the way down, I want to add my own audio to it. So I go ahead and I click the plus sign. And we have this whole list pop up. And there's audio. You can also add pictures, another video, a voiceover, which I will show you guys. And we want to add audio right now, so... With iMovie, they do give you um, some theme music to go by. They give you sound effects. After that, it's all up to you. Copywriting is a really big deal. When you're trying to make a video. You don't want to get any lawsuits or anything put on you. So you want to be very careful with that. So I will tell you guys what I recommend doing as far as music. After I show you guys like the way you can do the theme music to the intro and change the colors and stuff so i'm just going to show you guys how i do the theme music so with theme music they give you a lot of choices and you have bright modern neon news playful simple and travel we could try neon or that's news but it gives you a sample of how it sounds each of them so you can know before you add it You just want to click use when you find the one you want to use and it adds it right to your video. When it's green, when this part is green, that means it's in the background. So you can record a voiceover, that's what you would use to record for uh, like talk throughs or gaming videos just to have a little music in the background or even vlogs. But since this is going to be our intro, we want foreground music so in order to get it to foreground music you want to click the pair of scissors you see the option foreground click it and this is how the video will look right now so after seeing how the uh intro or trailer would look with the music that you added and not the first music we started with you can then make it your own and change color. So when I say you can change the color, this is what I mean. So you will go ahead and click on the video again. You have these options down here at the very bottom. Click on that one and now it gives you different um, filters. So, so is some of them may be really dark for this particular one. But see, let's press the pink one. Now our video will basically have a pink overlay, and this is how the video would now look. Okay, so I also know that some people would prefer their intro to be a little longer than 5 seconds. So what you could do from there is this. So once again, we will click the video, and then we will go to the bottom, and we'll go here. This is basically the time, how fast and slow it goes. We can make our video go slower. And this is how your intro or your trailer would now look. So, 
Um, so now you can have a feel of your intro being completely finished, but you can add words to your intro. So let's just go into what we will add into an intro if you want it to be a very detailed intro for each video you could probably have the name of the video in the corner or have the name of like what it is like if it's a comic or a game or makeup or a vlog you could have it in the corner and I'll show you guys how you could do that so currently we are on text so to get to text you'll click on the video and then you'll go to the T and it'll have all these so you don't want it to be smack dab in the middle and block all your stuff so you will go to lower and see now it's over in the corner so now you would just click your text and you will just put in what you want your video to be named that might help uh, your viewers get to the videos that they really want to see faster and this is how your new edited trailer intro would look Okay, so since I don't have a video yet to edit myself to show you guys exactly how I edit my videos, I am going to go ahead and edit the second option for the indie version. Like if you want to cut it, I'll just go ahead and show you guys how to do that one. And then we'll piece the two together, do a few voiceovers just to show you how, and go from there. Okay, so the next part out of the uh, trailer that we chose that I decided to take and make it an intro video is this one. So as you see, that's the music. That's how it looks at the moment until we add our own spice to it. So basically I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did for the first one. And this is how this one looks. Just to let you guys know, I, um, I'm going to be changing the music to it and maybe even the uh, filter as well. But it's still the same exact steps. You'll just choose another theme song and you'll choose another filter just as we did the first one. Well, as you guys see in the second intro that I made, I changed the filter, I changed the text uh, choice, and I also changed the music to go with it. I still slowed it down, so it's longer than five seconds, and right now we're just going to piece those two together, and I'm going to try to figure out a way how I can do a, um, a voiceover over the two. Yeah. Another cool thing I want to show you guys, if you click on the music like we did before, and you go to the sound bar. It has a choice in a fade instead of trim. Trim will be just for you to cut it down, like cut it shorter. And fade will be so it can fade out or fade in. If we do it this way, then the video will fade in. If we do it this way, the video will fade out. So let's just see how they sound fading in and fading out. Okay, so now to just piece the two together, as I said before, we go ahead and we start a new movie again, just like we did before, and we will just add the two together. How to add the two together, you'll just click on both videos. That's how you edit all your videos. You just click on the multiple videos that you want to have. Make sure you click on them in order because they will go in the order how you click them and then you'll have to rearrange them. You want to make sure that you uh, pick your videos in order from beginning to end so you don't have to worry about putting them in the right spots as much because that will really confuse you. So we're going ahead and putting the two videos together. So this is how the video will look connected. What we're going to do is you have the option to choose like the in-betweens, how it slides over. I think that these wipe and slide is pretty cool. Also, it has you an option to swipe 
to either side same thing with the wipe also it has options to go up or down same thing with the wipe so if you ever reach a point to as we just seen two of your videos just don't go together we're gonna change it up so what we're gonna do is just mute it mute up both of our videos again hey guys thanks for watching vlog one and let's get into the video hey guys thanks for watching vlog one hope to see you again You know, how would we do a voiceover? Mute out our videos again. We're going to do a voiceover and then we're going to have one theme music that's going to go with the whole intro. And this is how we're going to do it. A lot of times I like to use my um, voiceovers throughout editing or maybe even with like a outro video. But you can use it for intro video as well. So that's why I'm going to show you. You can add a voiceover to your video at any time you want just by clicking the addition button voiceover and then it says ready to record this is how you would record a voiceover you would just press the record button and obviously we're going to add some music back to it you will be more organized or um, schematical by just changing the uh, filter that you put on the second one or the first one so they're the same one and they could definitely blend together that's what I would normally do this is just for a fun video just to show you how to do things so let's add the music back oh one thing about having the music added to your voiceover it would have to be in background mode you do not want it in foreground mode so make sure you take the same steps and you just make sure the music is in background and not foreground mode or it will over it will go over your voice and you won't be able to hear your voice so this is how the video will look with our music added in background mode hey guys thanks for watching vlog one and let's get into the video hey guys thanks for watching vlog one hope to see you again my um intros i really like for it to fade out so what I went ahead and did, as you may have heard, it did fade out. So that is what I did to my um, intro. I made sure that it faded out at the end and that is how it looked. So as you play around with iMovie, you will see the like tons of different options you have as far as detaching and duplicating. Basically when you detach it, it will just be detaching the sound from the video and it will just go lower. It won't completely delete it. That will be your option to delete it or not and that's really used when you're just showing like a skit or like a, a little skim of a video that you've already made or that you want to make and you're including in another video. Also with uh, duplicating really easy method I use it a ton when I am just uh, maybe showing a brush that I've used in the previous scene I would zoom in on that brush I would duplicate the video zoom in on that brush and I would use that part of the video instead of having to go back to my photos and grab that video grab that video grab that video so that is really cool and I'll also show you guys really quickly how to zoom in so here's our video you would click on the video on the actual video down here and you'll click the magnifying glass and then you'll just scooch in or you'll go out zooming in is a really really cool method especially for getting uh, detailed pictures or images of different items so attached after me rambling my mouth I will show you guys two different ways I went ahead and edited the videos. Well, I'll just show you guys the two different versions as in the video. I won't be showing you guys the actual way because we already went over that. But attached uh, after this video will just be two intros that I thought was really dope. The color scheme and just playing around with it. So I hope that this was helpful in a way. Um, my battery is kind of dying so I'm kind of rushing through it. But iMovie is really easy to grasp. I did go over the main components. I did not um, yet tell you guys about the music. So I am going to tell you guys what I consider for music. As far as uh, using music out of like your iTunes store or whatever. Make sure that you bought it because if you don't buy it you won't be able to uh, use it at all. 
some uh, music they will allow you to post on youtube and instagram without it getting deleted but you won't be able to like monetize it or something which isn't a big deal for me i just upload the video anyway sometimes to uh just have my content up and i'll just deal with the music being uh copyright it but you don't get a strike or anything but you just basically they will take advantage of any views that you got on that video and it'll basically become theirs and last way i manipulated is i just either slow down the music or i speed it up and that usually helps me with a lot of instrumentals to be able to use it on platforms like youtube and instagram without getting any copyright on me and being able to use that video as i please as my own i hope this video once again was very very helpful for you guys i know it was pretty quick i tried to get it as detailed as I can but as I said my battery is dying and I thank you guys so much for watching thank you for asking me how I edit my videos it is pretty simple and make sure you guys subscribe and like this video comment for more content and I will see you guys in my next video